Hi students, in this video we are going to discuss applications of dynamic programming. In previous video we discussed what is this algorithm design approach dynamic programming under that we are discussing one of the applications one that is optimal binary search tree OBST okay so here before going to start this OBST I think you know what is this binary search tree what is mean by a binary search tree if you don't know the meaning uh, what is this binary search tree and operations you can see this binary search tree related videos in data structures course of course I will give the link here also and I will add uh, to the playlist also so binary search tree is a binary tree in which the elements in the left subtree are less than root node the elements present in the this is related to left to subtree okay so next the elements present in the right subtree should be greater than root node this is generally a binary search tree so left subtree elements are less than root node right subtree elements are greater than root node now see uh, example for binary search tree is for example here it is a 50 is the root node here it is a 40 and here it is 20 this is a 60 this is 70 if you observe this this is the root node left subtree elements are less than see this 40 is less than 50 20 is less than 40 and also 50. Left subtree, the property is satisfied. Now coming to right subtree. 60 is greater than 50. 70 is greater than 60 and also greater than 50. For example, another node here I want to add that is 58. Now is it a binary search tree or not? Just I am giving an idea of... Uh, what is binary search tree? If you don't know this binary search tree, it is difficult to understand this OBST. Okay. Right. So now 58. Yeah, 58 is left to 60. That means less than 60, which is correct. And it is greater than 50. Yeah, it is satisfying. 58 is greater than 50. That's why 58 is a right of 50. And this 58 is less than 60. That's why it is left of 60. So this is binary search tree concept. Left subtree elements are less than root node. Right subtree elements are greater than root node. Now, what is this optimal binary search tree? So the main objective of this optimal binary search tree is so we should construct a binary search tree in an optimal way binary search tree we have to construct in an optimal way what does it mean now for example i have a set of keys like 10 20 30 three keys are there so now in different ways we can construct a binary search tree with these elements like this is one valid binary search tree okay so now another one 20 10 30 this is one another binary search tree 30 here uh, you can have a 20. Here you can have a 10. This is another binary search tree. If you consider this 10 as a root node. Now 30 you can make it as child of 10. 20 you will get here. This is another binary search tree. Suppose if you consider this 30. And here it is 20. 
here we have considered so if I consider 10 here 20 you have to consider here so like that for the given case we are having number of possible binary search tracer so now what we have to do is we have to construct an optimal binary search tree so that a number of comparisons should be less number of comparisons should be less generally this is a search tree that means a searching for searching the time should be lesser okay so now so if the element is present then that is called as a successful search if that element is not present in the binary search then that is called as unsuccessful search that means here it is uh, 10 you want to search then it is success 20 you want to search it is success 30 you want to search it is success where you will get unsuccessful search c a key which is present or a key which is less than 10 which is not available in binary search it is unsuccessful search now a key which is less than 20 and greater than 10 so this is also one unsuccessful search and 30 less than 30 and greater than 20 this is one unsuccessful search greater than 30 this is un another unsuccessful search that means if prob probability of or successful searches or nodes are 3 what about unsuccessful search nodes you are having 4 see 1 2 3 4 suppose the number of keys here are 4 then um, x, these are called as this is square boxes uh, you can ask why you have represented in the square boxes madam so the circles are successful searches so these are unsuccessful searches that means in these positions you will get unsuccessful okay so these are called as external nodes so now if you if you want to represent for this here yeah, you can represent see here also four these are successful searches and whatever the square boxes these are called as external nodes these are called as external nodes so for the given case so many in a possible binary search trees you can represent now we want to represent an optimal binary search tree okay so what are uh, the ways or what are the steps uh, to construct an optimal binary search tree okay so for uh, constructing optimal binary search tree they will give you the probability of successful search so which are represented with pi the probability of unsuccessful search will be given as a QI. If number of keys are 4, then the probabilities you will get 4 like 3, 3, 1, 1. If you have number of nodes equal to 4, so probability of success is also 4. But probability of failure, that means probability of unsuccess, you will get 5. So that's why in the probability they will give you 2, 3, 1, 1, 1. So probability of successful, probability of unsuccessful they will give. Here these you can denote like P1 to P4. P1, P2, P3, P4. Whereas for unsuccessful searches you have to represent Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. And including this, they will give you the keys, which elements you want to insert. Like you want to insert 10, 20, 30, 40. Now, the question is, construct optimal binary search tree for this set of keys. See, for this actually you have 10, 20, 30, 40. This is one binary search tree, but we don't know whether it is optimal or not. Okay, so how can you say that why uh, we are constructing this optimal, optimal binary search trace? For example, 
see you want to search for 31 comparison you want to search for 22 comparisons you want to search for 10 3 comparisons you are getting okay so on an average how many comparisons for successful you are getting uh, 6 you are getting for example if you observe this one 20 you will get in one comparison 10 you will get in two comparisons 30 you will get in two comparisons so totally how many comparisons you are getting only five so this is less than this this is less than this five five is less than six so that means in between these two which one is optimal this is the optimal for the given uh, case at time 20 30 like that so if more number of keys are given it is difficult to construct all these possible binary search trees and finding this how many comparisons you will get so that com comparison or calculation is difficult so that's why we have to apply an algorithm optimal binary search tree algorithm and a different formula we will use to construct OBST okay so in the next video we are going to discuss how to construct an optimal binary search tree for these four set of keys. Hope you understand what is uh, mainly optimal binary search tree. Okay. So if you have any doubts, please send me a message in the comment box. If you understand, please share with your friends. Thank you students. Have a great day. Bye.